Lua Shola Adijumo is a student of Fidel College here in Lagos and one out of a triumvirate of secondary school students who represented Lagos at the National Mathematics Compet Championship rather in Abuja. Lua Shola came fourth out of hundreds of students who took part in the competition with only two of his schoolmates recording a better scores than him. He joins us now to share his wonderful experience. Good to have you on Newsday, Adijumo. All right. Okay, fine. So let's talk about the annual uh, national mathematics competition. It is one of the biggest uh, in the country uh, for students nationwide in Nigeria. So how did you get involved and what was the motivation? Um, it was thanks to our principal and our teachers who informed us about the competition. Um, they motivated us saying that we could do it, we could get there, that um, it was something big and we could win something. All right, um, something big, and you can read something for yourself. Certainly, um, um, well, let's, okay, let's pick it up from this particular point. How is it like? I'll give us, just narrate to us the process of preparing for such a competition, a very, very high level competition, because you would have to give up said play times and some other accessories, so to speak, to be able to zoom in and focus into this. How, how was it like? How much, how, many, how much sacrifice were you able to give to be able to get to where you were? Yes, I and my classmates made a lot of sacrifices. We gave up a lot of play time when our friends were out there enjoying themselves. Um, we had morning and evening classes organized by our teacher, our principal, to make sure that we got there we had more training that we needed for the competition. Mm. Uh, Adejuma, if, if you don't mind me saying so, but if you realize that uh, mathematics is not really the biggest, <laughs> most people run away from it when it comes to things like that. So, uh, you know, you said your school, you know, also prepared you for that. But what about your parents to a large extent? How did they also motivate you in getting, you know, involved with mathematics of, of all, uh, you know, of all subjects? Well, um, mathematics is actually one of my favorite subjects. I've enjoyed it since primary school. So my parents kept pushing me when they heard about the competition. We also had a lot of encouragement from our principal and our chairman during the preparation. He was praying for us. Yes, he taught us. He um, encouraged our teacher to help us train more during the competition. Mm. So usually when people a proficient in mathematics. They start talking about STEM subjects or STEM professions, so to speak, I'm sure. You've actually heard about that. You start going into major sciences and the rest of them. What is it like with this level of proficiency in mathematics? I'm sure you will be dreaming big. Where do you think the level of mathematics can take you to? Well, I think uh, mathematics is a um, major subject when you want to go into the medical line which is what I am looking forward to because mm -hmm. my dad is a consultant in the um, general hospital in Ali Mosho, and my mom too is a nurse, so I've had that. Um, okay. Yes. So <laughs> I think mathematics will help me a lot. All right. Mm, it will today. indeed because uh, that is one of the major prerequisites when it comes to sciences, as it were. So let's talk about um, a period that you, know, you have so many other competitors in that uh, you know, event, as it were. So did it actually cross your mind that, OK, fine, you might not actually make the first four you know, winners, as it were, at some point, despite all the preparations you might have had? Well, I wasn't really too um, worried, because we had a lot of training from our teacher. He's really good. We had a lot of encouragement from our um, chairman, Pastor Philip. He kept calling us, making sure we're comfortable, praying for us. And I believed in myself, too. I had a confident mind. I had the right set of people to help me and to push me forward. All right, help you push you forward. And talk to Rose, how's been the reception like in your school? Of course, coming back victorious or probably coming back as a dominating pair, I mean, dominating triplets, talking about yourself and two others that actually came first and second. How's been the reception like? from your peers, from your teachers, and every other one. 
Yes, we were being congratulated by everyone. We were giving various gifts. Mm. Okay. So the prize money we won, the chairman gave it to us. Wow. And he added an um, extra um, scholarship money of 300,000 each to give us the encouragement and to encourage other students to do more and participate in other competitions. Okay, you're still talking about uh, encouragement uh, of, of others that would like to be in your shoes, as it were. So what advice would you give to them? And uh, like I said, mathematics, probably because uh, due to some, um, you know, uncertainties about how to go about it or probably not having enough uh, teachers to actually uh, put people through, um, you know, people more or less uh, try to avoid that subject as it were. So what advice would you give, you know, other students that would like to be in your shoes, you know, going forward regarding competitions such as this one? I would want to encourage other students to actually endeavor to take part in more competitions because maths isn't really that hard. If you have the right set of um, help teachers and a courageous mind, you can achieve it all. All right, you said maths is not hard. So I would like to find out from you because some, some see numbers in their minds and some have had to diligently study to be able to crack some of those hard equations. First of all, talk to Ross, which is it for you? And tell me what's the most exciting thing about maths? I guess I'm just um, naturally good with numbers, but if you're not someone that can sit down and read maths, you need extra help from your teachers to help you move forward. All right. Uh, what, so, okay, go ahead. Yeah, I was asking, so my, the second part of my, of my question. So let's get to hear from you. So what's the most exciting thing about maths? I guess it's just, um, Maths is unpredictable. You can never know where you are going to end up, how to get the answer. Some equations have like two answers. So you have to cross check and it's really teasing. It teases the mind. It's, All right. yeah. <laughs> Stimulation and teasing. But let me ask you this. Well, what about the role of technology? You know, these days some people just, okay, let me just get a calculator and just grab, <laughs> put the numbers together. So what do you think, how is that impacting on one's ability to go to the basics? when it comes to mathematics? I feel the issue of students using calculator isn't really helping to think fast, to be able to answer questions correctly. But some schools encourage that, and I think it's also mm. good. So you have the opinion that using your brain to do all the calculation helps yes. strengthen your ability with numbers? Okay, that's that's a, that's been our um, motivation from our teacher. Mm -hmm. I and think, I, I, I I think you'll go for in additional maths as well. I, I remember that one when it comes to <laughs> sciences, you know, as it were. All right, uh, Adijumo <laughs> Oluwashola, a student of Fidel College, yeah, who came fourth at the national mathematics competitions as a grade nine as GSS uh, three. Yes. That's quite an achievement. It's good to have you with us, Thanks. and we wish you with uh, many more successes, as it were.